Knowledge is like a fire. It starts first with a few embers and it grows and grows until it is one enormous blaze. You have been an excellent student, but um, sometimes knowledge is not enough. Sometimes it's more important to think deeply than it is to think clearly. Too many scientists nowadays focus on thinking clearly, which is somewhat hamstring in the fact that to think clearly you must be perfectly 100% sane. You have no such disadvantage when you think deeply. I admire you because you are a deep thinker. Which is good. You know why you're here today? Yes. I'm afraid I can't share any deeper purpose until I've done a few checks. Hope this is okay. Yeah. Scientifically minded. You are most brilliant. But sometimes things come down to the crassness of physicality. How tall are you? Hmm. I shall just check that. Ah, yes, this is a personal um, object. I would say it was an invention of mine, but um, a very strange doctor once came to see me. And she had a device very similar, and it was most excellent for scanning. She said she made it out of spoons, which I find hard to believe. It took me months to make this. It's always good to have a second check. Weight. Weight is irrelevant. But not your electrolyte weight. We should take this too. I see. And of course, finally, we must measure you twice. Oh no, not a physical measurement, of course not. Here, wrap these around your arms like this. I shall show you also. This around. Good. 
good. We are to measure your capacitance. Please stand still for this. Sit still, whatever, but remain still. Okay, good. Wrap around both hands. Yes. Raise the hands. A little higher. Now please remain still. I said remain still. Good. Good. Yes. It works off the basis of course, of electromagnetism. The electromagnetic particles, they come together and they create a force. And that force, when focused correctly, can exert a scanning motion. And, as a consequence, deeply scan beyond what is under the initial layer. Yeah. Okay. You may put down the wire. Let me look at you. Yes, well, this is just a fact that must be followed. Yes, I will. Look, let me say this. Let me say this. Aunt Minnie is in the hospital. Why is she in the hospital? Because she slipped and fell on the ice. That settles it. That settles it for most people. But it would not settle it for an alien or someone from a different planet. Because they would ask the next question. Why did she slip on the ice? Sorry, I am trying to work out the electromagnetic radiation. How you react to it. Well, she slipped on the ice because ice is slippery. Everyone knows that. But why is ice slippery? Now you have yourself a question. There aren't many things that are slippery like ice. It is because they say that at the moment of pressure, pressed down, the ice temporarily melts, which causes a layer that is perfect for the friction. Why does ice melt when we put a pressure on top of it? Well, that is to do with the way the atoms are built together. Everything is atomic. 
If you want to know the secrets of the universe, you must first go down to the atomic and possibly subatomic level. So we go down further. And then we will have the answer because of the bonds between the hydrogen, the oxygen, and the way that the crystal lattice is. I'm not answering your question. I'm trying to demonstrate how difficult a why question is. And of course, we can go the other way. And the more we go, the more interesting a thing becomes. So, for example, the other way, why did she fall when she slipped? Well, this is to do with gravity, um, which is somewhat linked with electromagnetic radiation, but we do not know how. But we do know that it is somewhat related. It's very similar. It's just a different spectrum. We do know it is somewhat related to the mass between the two bodies in question. And we can go in many different directions with these questions. Again, I did not answer your question. I just want to demonstrate two things. One, every time you ask a why question, it becomes more interesting. And two, ultimately, we must be in a situation where we allow something to be true. So at this stage in your scientific development, I can only tell you that this is a fact. And it is something you're going to have to accept as a fundamental truth. Because if I try to explain it in something that you're more familiar with, like for example, the reason the electromagnetic waves pull together is because of elastic bands, yes? I would be cheating you. And I would be cheating you quite badly. Because you would soon ask me about the nature of these elastic bands. And then I would have to explain the forces between the elastic bands using electro and magnetic forces. The very thing I tried to avoid in the first place. Anyway. You have perfect resonant frequency. Tick. You also have a perfect voltage and capacitance level. Tick. What does this mean for you? Well, it has long been a theory of mine, and anything we say here does not go outside this room. Yes, it has long been a theory of mine that we can transport atoms on a large scale using merely the the stimulation of electromagnetic forces. Right. And you are the perfect candidate for this.
No, you are perfectly safe. We need to do two things. Firstly, we need to raise and adjust your frequencies. Secondly, we need to build up a certain level of electromagnetic capacitance within you. And then I guess there is number three, thirdly. Which is to release that capacitance. Now there are only two things that can happen. One, you will be transported through space and time a very small distance because the capacitance we will build will not be sufficient for a large distance. Or two, nothing. And if nothing happens, well then we try and we try again. Good. Right. Now, using this good doctor's tool, I have made my own adjustments. And we're going to adjust and balance your frequencies. It should only be a few minutes. the readings from your your touchpad this is fine do not worry about this Now, now we build your electromagnetic capacitance. This may feel a little tingly and a little disorientating, but this is to be expected. There will be no pain. Just focus, focus on the light as it slowly builds.
was a human, but I have been more successful with carrots. Still focus if you wish. We are in perfect balance now. And I'm going to release the energy. Are you ready? Sixteen forty two. Capacitance release one. In three, two, one. Oh, this means that today we will choose the ruins for your fingers. The index fingers. I'm glad we're not on the other ones yet. But you don't just pick. No. This is most remarkable. Do you remember anything from your experience. Think now. Do you remember where you went? Yes, you went somewhere else. I'm not sure where, but it was not within the confines of this laboratory. Well, we will scan your EM signature. This is fascinating. It says here you traveled 125 miles in the space of 0.1 seconds and then after a few seconds, 3.6 seconds, you returned. Did you feel any sense of time dilation? Did it feel like you were gone for 3.6 seconds? You don't have to be that accurate. 3.7, 3.5. Roughly this amount. Huh. Remarkable. This is both remarkable, fascinating, and groundbreaking. Of course I'm excited. Do I not look excited? Hmm. Good. We shall resume this tomorrow. At the same time. Speak to no one of this. Any strangers on the street, anything, no, speak to no one of these, none of your students, nobody else. And we together will work with this and try to get it in a position where we have the actual formula for our experimentation and observations. Yes, very good. Good. 
course, this will not be useful for many years. In its current state, I'm afraid the closest I could get was to be able to replicate this one thing. I hope that sometime soon in the future, because of my meddlings, we may see this doctor again. But even if not, even if we don't profit from these things, we work not for the present, but for the future. Always bear this in mind. Money and glory are fleeting, whereas deep footprints are forever. Now, if you will leave me please to work, I will speak with you again tomorrow. Yes, show yourself out. <laughs>